the Great White Fraternity message from Archangel Michael. The link between your birth and ascension. Give peace a chance. Greetings beloved beings of light, I am Archangel Michael. I come with vibrations and angelic beings to serve you, to surround you, and surround you in angelic love. We are here to support your ascension at this time, to encourage you to explore deep within your being and allow yourself to access your ascension from the truth of your being. Today, we wish to speak of the link between your birth into earth reality and your ascension process. Your birth was created by you, your mother, and the creator, as well as your soul. It was a co-creation. There may have been other people's souls involved in this co-creation, but it was all planned. The way you existed within the womb and the way you were born, as well as all the experiences that took place shortly after birth, were all planned by you. However, what was not planned is the emotional reaction and beliefs you created, while in the womb, during the birthing process, and after birth. You created a scenario that you believed would support certain emotional reactions and beliefs that would then coincide and be compatible to help and guide you through your ascension process. An example of this could be that you had a very difficult birth and yet once you were held in your mother's arms you felt a very deep love, that love filled you and you carried it forward as a belief in your reality. Ascension may not have been for you to learn to love yourself, you would have different issues to overcome. Another example could be that you had the happiest birth experience and yet, when you arrived you simply felt that you didn't want to be in earthly reality. So you've created beliefs of rejecting people, rejecting your surroundings, maybe even rejecting yourself and your body. All of these beliefs create circumstances and scenarios in your childhood and adulthood, and these would become your ascension process, the lessons and the energies to unravel, heal, discover and overcome. As souls, before you enter the earth, you have no way of understanding how you will react, however, the scenarios and experiences you set for yourself allow you to begin your progression along the ascension path. There is a need to understand that many of you will not remember your birth. You may not have anyone to ask about your birth, and even if you do have someone to ask about your birth, remember that what you will hear will be their interpretation, their emotional reactions, and the set of beliefs that were created at that moment. It does not indicate what you were experiencing. There is only one thing that can be achieved, and that is to go back into the womb and allow and guide yourself through the birthing process. Instead of trying to understand what you have experienced as physical scenarios, what you will be guided to recognize and understand is more, the vibration you feel in your body. The emotions and thoughts that come to your consciousness. You won't need to know how you were born, what happened, who was there, and what your mother said or didn't say. None of this is necessary for you to achieve this process. What is needed is a willingness to consciously and energetically return to the womb to understand what you were personally experiencing, the energy vibrations, emotions, and beliefs that were created then and during the birthing process. Then there will be a need to recognize whether these energies, emotions, or thoughts remain in your reality. If you see them, as patterns in your reality right now, and what these emotions, thoughts, and patterns might indicate to you about your ascension process. Being in the womb was the beginning of your ascension process and therefore there is a message. There is something there, 
for you to acknowledge, perhaps to heal and transform, or simply to be aware that a pattern remains in your reality, or that you have already moved beyond that pattern. If you find that you have felt rejected, it could be that your ascension process is really about connecting with yourself, connecting with everyone around you, and all to feel the unity of the Creator. If all you experience lot of pain and discomfort, your ascension process may be about allowing yourself to feel comfortable, support yourself, and take care of yourself. If you experience complete and absolute love, as a bath of love, perhaps there is a need in your ascension process to grow that love, to realize how expansive that love can be, and how much you can share it with others. You will be able to understand the unique message and connect with your ascension, because it is unique to you. You will be able to understand the unique message and connect with your ascension, because it is unique to you. As you heal your birth experience, you heal your foundations, allowing for the release of energies that just keep bombarding you. I wish to offer you step-by-step -step guidance for achieving this process, which you can accomplish in your own time. I don't want you to expect too much, but simply be aware of the subtle energies and messages. First, Allow yourself to get into a meditative state, focus on your breath, close your eyes and relax your body. Call on your guides to surround you and ask them and your soul to transport you, if appropriate, back into the womb of your current reality. Allow yourself to breathe deeply, you can, if you wish, imagine that you are in your mother's womb. Or you can simply take a deep breath and allow yourself to be aware of any energies, emotions, or thoughts that come into your awareness. When you are ready, you can ask your guides and your soul to support you in the energetic experience of the birth process that you have experienced, allowing you to step into this physical reality. Be aware of any emotions, energies, or thoughts that come to your awareness. When you are ready, invite your guides and your soul to allow you to experience what it was like after your birth, those first few minutes, hours, or days after your birth. Take some time to acknowledge and understand any insights, thoughts, emotions, or energies that you have become aware of. Think about your current reality and your life, and recognize, if these energies remain in your reality. Recognize or ask how these energies, your reactions, emotions, and thoughts are linked to your ascension process, your mission, and your purpose in your ascension journey. When you feel ready, you can go back to, where you need to be, whether it's in the womb, the birthing process, or later, recognize what needs to be acknowledged. What illusions you are holding, what you are not allowing yourself to see, and what truth is present that you are ignoring. Invite your mind, your soul to bring in what is needed, the energies, the healing, so that you can transform this process and experience. Notice how the transformation filters into your current reality. When you feel ready, invite yourself to remember what you need to focus on now in your current reality and your ascension process, after you understand more about your birth process on Earth. If you find this process challenging, try again at another time. Sometimes even approaching meditation allows for an opening, and when you come back you can go deeper. There's a lot to discover, and a lot to heal and, as we said, everything was planned. Your emotions, your thoughts, and the beliefs you created were not they are unique to you, and you can transform their influence and foundation into your reality now.
When you feel that the process is complete, you can simply allow yourself to recognize the ground and the ground below you, grounding yourself back into the world and your reality. We hope this will serve to gain more clarity in your ascension process and bring healing where it is needed. Beloved Archangel Michael says, Dear friends, anytime and anywhere, in this or another planet of the system or in an inner sphere, someday every creation of intelligent beings, their reassonings, their feelings, and their minds shall be surrendered to God. It is our job to serve as a defender of the faith, to keep faith in God alive in the human heart, faith in His divine determination, which shall lift Him above the limitation in which He has sunk. To strengthen and expand this faith among humanity, the legions of my realm constantly enkindle the light of the soul. In this procedure of ascending, momentarily, the flame, and in inspiring our faith, we always give something of ourselves, of our being. Us, we help men to persevere in perseverance. Appreciate, we love you. I am Archangel Michael. The Star Traveler decrees that all humanity can live good days, full of love, peace, light, and harmony. May the light be present in all hearts, leading us to the awakening of consciousness for the work of Christ. May humanity live in the light, with the light, and for the light. So be it. Stay in the light. Friends and brothers, I want to thank you all for visiting the Star Traveler page. The contents are messages from the masters of the universe for the awakening of consciousness and the construction of a better world. I ask you to please share this page so you will be participating in building a better world. Don't forget to click the bell to know each post in this page as soon as it's published. Like a lot of light. Namaste.